Hey guys, Joe here, and today I have another Love for the 2 video, and today we'll be doing a all facts about Love for the 2 that you probably didn't know was special infected and survivors. So let's start out with number one. Uh, if you see my controller keep doing that thing, I'm sorry, but what you should do is you look at the uh, right side where the survivor is. If you shove with um. You, the gun you have, or if you don't have a gun, you use your Molotov, pills, health pack, or whatever. But I'm just going to use my gun. If you use your gun, and you shove, and then bring out your melee weapon, as you can see, my guy's uh, guitar, this works on any melee weapon. It will just do this, but you do not have unlimited shove power. If you do it later, it might still work, but, uh, but you have to shove with this and hold it in. But it will not work with the gun. It will only work with a melee weapon. Like, even if you do this, it will still work. But, yeah. That one, that was the first one. Number two. A survivor can also leap on a survivor by just jumping. I don't know if I said that wrong, but just to make sure, a jockey can leap on a survivor by just jumping. So, there's no point of skipping it right here, because I'm already a charger. If you're a charger... Actually, I gotta wait for a sec, sorry. Alright, well, my, my, my infected guy is, like, uh, really light. Sorry about that. But, um, when you're a charger, if you do the double combo, but for those of you who don't know what that is, it's where you punch and charge at the same time. Very useful. So, um, is this, if a survivor is at 10% health or lower... In, it works if he's in black and white or not. A char if you punch and charge, a charger can um in impasticate him and get the next survivor. <laughs> well, I failed, but it still works. I guess I should have did it longer, but yeah. When you're a smoker and if you uh miss a target or when you spawn. If you do this, if you just like throw, if you sorry, if you go in and claw tap, you'll start making strange noises. I'll do it again now that it's more quiet. Also, infected, any special infected can be shot through walls. If you ever want to stop a boomer from from uh, vomiting on you, just do the following. You look at him, and whenever he's, whenever you, if you think you know when he starts to vomit, you automatically shove him. And his um, vomit rage will have to re re uh, charge. This one you might already know, but when you're a spitter, you can, whenever you spit, it will also bounce off invisible walls. But you probably already know that, so I won't show you. But the other one I wanted to show you is this one you probably already know, too. If you spit, and if you make it bounce off a ceiling, it'll still go to survivors, as long as you aim at the right spot. If you're a jockey or a hunter or any special affected, you can also climb up these cool things or ladders very quickly. But for a hunter or a jockey, if you just spam the uh, his primary attack with the right trigger, you will be able to climb up a ladder very faster. With the hunter, it's really faster. I'll, sh I'll get to that later. But for infected, if you crouch and like if you keep crouching like this, you always go. You will keep going up. If you ever like doing techniques a lot, then this is a technique for you. The Rock of Boomer is what a lot of people put in their videos for doing all facts about the Boomer. But if you jump too far, you'll jump all the way out. It takes practice to do. It should take you at least like three tries. 
but if the survivors aren't all the way down there, it'd be way harder to do. So that's why if the survivors are too out wide or far or far, then you cannot do the rocket boomer. Of course, some of you already know that these facts aren't all facts. Like, you know, uh, they're not all facts. You probably don't don't know. It's just just facts, I guess. But um, yeah. When you're a hunter, if you, even if you jump, oh sorry, I'm gonna show. Oh, oh, even if you jump. And, uh, crowd, even if you jump, crouch, on a, and jump on a survivor, you will still not get them. It'll just shake their screen. And I'll show you this again, because it is kind of weird how it just shakes their screen. But, the second one is, I do not, um, there will be a bonus question at the end. I want you guys to figure out, but that will be at the end of the video. This is the beginning. So here it is again. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't attack him. But the daily bonus is, is a secret. It'll be at the end. No matter how high you pounce when you're a jockey, it'll always do the same damage. So as you can see, I am at 33, and if you look on my left side, it will show you how much damage I've done. Uh oh, sorry, I failed. Um. Let's try this again. All right, remember, dang it, stupid controller. Remember, I am at thirty-three. Dang it, bot. But anyway, still, he'll only do the same amount of damage. If you try to charge, if you try, if you try to charge from here. Onto a survivor, if you land on their he heads, you will not charge them off the edge. Exactly like this. Sorry if I get paused for sometimes. It just ah my controller. You will get lucky if you don't charge it from their head, but if you do charge it from their head, you're screwed. Okay, I am a boomer. I don't know about to save that, you already know. But, uh, a boomer can only vomit from a certain amount of height. You can vomit from here. He can also not vomit from here. Well, actually, yeah, he can. But from anywhere higher, like, if you were up here, if you have the cheats and glitches or whatever, I'm sorry I'm not making my video with these, but if you vomit from here, you probably won't be able to get them. That's that. This one you all should know. You cannot vomit while in the air. So just in case you'd like to try, don't try it. Just in case you ever fall off the edge, if you're in ghost mode, you can always respawn back by just pressing a single button which is X but if you have spawn but if you're too far if you have spawn you jump off if you get lucky you'll say respawn to the survivors but if it doesn't you're gone when a spitter spits in um um in high distance you can't get the survivors from there but if it hits an invisible wall if it's red, good luck. Also, the spitter is ugly. If a junkie leaves on the survivor that is, um, 2% let um, like, probably, I'd say, 5 or lower health. Let's see, that is Zoe. If he jumps on him or leaps on him, he will still have to recharge his jockey power for 30 seconds. It's a bummer, right? But if you ride him off the edge, it'll respawn. It will take at least I, I'd say five or seven seconds, but at least that amount of time. Anyways, so um, I'm a charger. Sorry, I had skipped it there. But um, if a survivor, wait a minute. I gotta get where they're supposed to be. If a survivor is in a corner. 
a charger cannot charge them out of the corner. I'm just gonna let you guys know that. Here, let me get on where it's supposed to be. Alright, as I was saying before, a charger cannot, it might, if, if you're like, if you're pointing exactly, a charger cannot charge them through a... Well, if a charger, wait, first of all, I'm not really sure about that. If a charger um, charges, a, charges to a survivor too close, he will not hit them. I hate bots. A boomer can vomit for long ranges and through tiny corners, like this one. But, these tiny cracks right here, he can still vomit through but can easily have been shot. A survivor cannot shoot a boomer. See my boomer's right there. It cannot shoot them through long walls, but can do a lot of splash attack. Didn't make it. So um, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you like it. But the daily bonus is, I want you to send this in the comment below. What if you're a hunter? Can you pounce upwards and not crouch and then land on a survivor? Can you still get him or can you not? Like how I'm saying is is you know how you can crouch as a survivor? I mean as a hunter when you crouch and pounce, you get on a survivor easily. But if I were you, if I'm asking you guys to crouch Jump straight up in the air, but don't crouch anymore. Just don't crouch. Uh, just let's like uncrouch while you're coming down on the survivor, and does it still get him? I would do it on that. I just want to give you guys a little challenge. I do not know the answer for sure. That's why I want you guys to send me, tell me to leave a comment down below. This might be a stupid question, but just the best I can do. So see you guys in the next video.